five minutes. Jerks and Profar, the other huge story. I mean, massive. Story. More people are talking about Profar, I feel like, than the rightfully Super Bowl so. nationally. Yeah, uh, so. Jerks and Profar this morning, the move that was inevitable is back to the Padres. One year deal, $1 million. Incentives that could pay him another $1.5 million. I think it takes Jackson Merrill starting in the outfield from day one off the, off the board. I think it's pro far, let Merrill get seasoning. We'll figure it out 30, 60, 90 days into the season. Um, that's my two cents on it. Well, then give me your outfielders mm-hmm. that will be on the opening day roster. Well, they, okay, there's going to be five, four or five, and here are three of them. Well, four of them. I have, I have four of them. It's going to be Zokar, Tatis, Profar, and my guess would be Marcy over Merrill because Merrill is going to be developed. He's two years younger than Marcy, and I think Marcy is an outfielder and Merrill isn't. So I think if you're going to choose between the two, it'll be Marcy before Merrill, and they probably still need to make another signing or they'll go with a non-roster guy. That they've got some guys in camp that have major league time. No one's ever done anything of significance. That's my guess for the outfield. Okay. Like I don't I don't think Merrill, and I could be proven wrong. I, I just don't see Merrill starting in left field from day one. And if he is, then I don't know if you need to sign Jerks and Profar <laughs> right now. I mean, Jerks and Profar, man. It's uh it's 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 a signing that doesn't really matter much if he doesn't perform. Yep, because it's only one million dollars. Mm-hmm. If he does perform, then you hit a little bit of a jackpot there. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I would say that the, the Cal Mitchell, Bryce Johnson, that you're, if they truly think that, okay, we need to give like Jackson Merrill some time at the minor league level in left field. We need to make sure Jacob Marcy gets a little more time. Graham mm-hmm. Pauly, which I would be completely fine with. Um, then maybe you're looking at an outfield on opening day of Profar, Zokar, Tatis, and then a Mitchell or Bryce yeah, Johnson, non-roster guy. non-roster guy that's been in the big leagues before. And, you know, you're just waiting until Jackson Merrill feels comfortable in the outfield to bring him up. You need a fifth, though, right? Major League teams have, you got five outfielders, five outfielders, right? Or at least someone that plays infield and outfield. Um, I, I guess I, if you want to, I, Are they going to sign another outfielder? I guess is the question. I don't know, dude. It, I I think the more that you hear them talk about the young players, Marcy Merrill, yeah, Pauly, one of those guys is going to be on the opening day roster. I agree, and I'm afraid that it's going to be Jackson Merrill, and, and he's, he's not going to play. Not going to play every day. No way. And like that. That to me would be more surprising than almost anything that they've done this off season. If Merrill is up, he's not playing twice a week i hope not i don't see it with a 20 year old that that's literally stunting someone <laughs> it, you you don't do that typically like he needs plate appearances i know so if you can get him in the big leagues great now what do you make of him? because you have to perform and if you don't perform then what happens but I, I can't see him being up and being like a bench piece i, I just i don't think it would be a smart move well, and the, i don't think they then would it would it. behoove him to have a really good spring because if he has a really good spring, it makes the Padres' decision that much easier. Well, I fully agree with it. I'll be very like skeptical about it. Wait, you think if he okay, he hits three thirty this spring, mm-hmm. right? Fifty plate appearances, he hits three thirty. Yeah, he's the starting left fielder. I don't know. I, I think I still, that makes the decision harder. I still think he needs time in the minors. It would it would make me feel good if I was the Padres to see him have a really good spring. Mm-hmm. But I wouldn't just off of a really good spring make him the starting left fielder agreed that's that's where they could get into hot water i think if you're signing jerks in profar he should be playing to start the year right i mean he's a yeah profar yeah yeah. 10 year major leaguer yeah he hasn't performed or didn't perform last year but why are you signing him i don't think you're signing him to come off the bench immediately for jackson merrill maybe i'm wrong maybe that is why they signed him and he's an insurance policy for merrill if merrill struggles i see it the other way I see Profar as a stopgap to when Merrill is ready. So if Profar performs, he can have the job for the year. If he doesn't perform and Merrill does at the minor leagues, then I think Merrill's given the opportunity. It's so funny how (laughs) this team is very secretive with a lot of stuff that they do, but yet they're so easy to read. (laughs) Right, right. I mean, we, everybody, not just everybody in this town 
was like already putting jerks and profar on this roster. We've been talking about it since October for the last two months mm -hmm. <laughs> since they traded Juan Soto. And it was the most predictable signing ever. Yep. When I saw it this morning, didn't even raise an eyebrow. I'm like, wait, he's not on the team. Didn't I thought he was. I di didn't even flinch. I going through my rage this morning. I just did whatever. <laughs> okay. Jerks and profile. Cool. That yep. not least surprising move ever. I agree. But it is jerks and profile who was really bad last year. Mm -hmm. And if he's getting like a majority chunk of time in the outfield, that's True. also a risk as well. Right. That's a good point. That is a good point. Because you, you you got a guy who, great, vibes are high, awesome, but can he actually perform? I mean, you, yes, can have, it's you, a good point. you can have all the vibe guys you want to have a great clubhouse. Awesome. Something that they didn't have, did not have last year. But um, you're going to need to perform in the field. And if you don't, then that's also a bigger problem than vibes. 100% spot on. That is completely spot on. The one caveat is it's $1 million, so Easy you get can of. get out of it. Yeah, exactly. Easily. So, like, if it doesn't work, you haven't dug yourself It's like Nelson hole. Cruz last year. Exactly. I mean, he was only there through May. And he maybe. was god-awful. And he was gone after two months. And so you're not guaranteed anything. Now, you don't want two months of no productivity. I don't want their yeah. left fielder hitting like 150. Continuously giving him opportunity after opportunity, and he's going 0 for 3 every night. But it's not a guy making $24 million going 0 for 3 every night. So come May 30th, when he's hitting 161, it's someone else's job. Or maybe even before that, if yeah. he's making a million dollars. Yeah, yeah. And, and we'll see how it goes. Maybe, like you said, maybe this is a stopgap because they don't want to put all this pressure on Jackson Merrill to be... At, not, on, not only at the big league level on opening day in, in Korea, but playing a brand new position he's never played before. Right, exactly. And if you know you listen to Kylie McDaniel with Darren, very high on Jackson Merrill, says he doesn't really need much time in the minors before he can be brought up to, to the big league level and play left field. Mm -hmm. you know, we've had other people say that he, he would need at least a year mm -hmm. <laughs> to play in the minors at, at, a, at left field to, to be comfortable with it, but I... Is there a rush to have his big league clock start now other than you have to bring him up because you have no other option because of the position? Like, because good point. No, no. The, the rush is you would be doing it out of necessity, which is the worst reason in the world to call up a prospect. Oh, yeah. The worst. You should do it because the prospect is ready, 100%. not because you need him. Right. Yeah. It's, there's, it's, there's like a, a meeting point. Like the player's ready and we have a need, right. but not we have a need. Mm, maybe he's ready. No, the player has to be ready doesn't guarantee he's going to have success, but the player's got to be ready. He's never played left field, by and large. Yeah. And he's 20. And he's never been a 1,000 OPS, this amazing offensive power hitter. He's been good, but he's never sustained 60 days of tearing the cover off the baseball in the minor leagues. No. So give him time. Let him develop. Yep. Let That's him develop. Do. And um, don't rush him and don't put him in a position where he's not fully comfortable. I agree.